Throughout our car journey around Martinique, we slowly began to wind further and further up into the mountains. We drove as far as we could on the north coast and came across a walking trail at the end of a really windy, switchbacky mountain road, led across a little stream and then through the ruins of an old sugar cane plantation where all the old equipment was still there. It was getting to be dark when we got to the beach at the end of the hike and we walked around up and down it. If it had been a clearer day, we would have been able to see Dominica across the pass, but as it was, it was hazy. So we walked up and down the beach and then as the sun was setting back through the woods and there was this golden, I guess that golden hour when the sun is setting and everything just feels heavy with the weight of the day's sunlight. It's the only way I can really describe it. And I remembered how important it is to have a balance between the water and the land. And it was then I decided that I need to be a little bit more conscientious about getting out into the jungles and the mountains of every island that I explore. The next stop on our tour de island was Mount Pele, which is a volcano kind of in the northern part of Martinique. And if you read about it, there's a really interesting explanation about the eruption that happened in the early 1900s that just totally decimated the town. And um, the town is built on the ruins of the old destroyed town, but there are still a ton of ruins. Um, anyway, so you can drive a, most of the way up the volcano and the road kind of stops where the cloud cover starts to come in. And we had no intention of actually hiking the mountain. We just had this amazing picnic lunch, drank an entire bottle of wine. We were just feeling like we wanted to go check out the volcano. So we parked in the parking lot and there's a little observatory that you can make your way up to. It's like a 10 minute walk. So we set out from the car. I wasn't wearing shoes because I don't like to wear shoes. And it was a 10 minute walk to the observatory. My friend Jay Wall had his dry bag, but there was nothing in it. <laughs> I don't know why he brought it. Uh, it had some change. I think we were planning on getting some water from the little restaurant that was there. I think he had his passport, some crumpled up receipts, nothing important. Um, I was wearing all cotton. He was wearing not cotton pants, but a button up shirt. And we started enjoying the hike so much and it was just really foggy and chilly and it felt so good that we decided to go a little bit further and then it got really steep and you were clawing hands and knees and toes everything pulling your way up this volcano and after each one of those we were like all right this is it we're gonna turn around now we're not hiking this volcano but then we'd keep going because we just didn't want to stop it was so beautiful and every now and then there would be this hole in the fog and you'd see this sheer wall of green in front of you
ended up making it to the top of the volcano after all. Once we got up to the very summit, there was a trail around the whole rim, but it was so foggy and rainy that we decided that just getting to the top was enough. We walked a little way around the rim and then scrambled our way back down again to the bottom and the waiting car. After our Pele adventure, we took a different road down from the mountain. This one kind of went along the spine of Martinique and we came upon this big river cascading over boulders and a guy standing there um, selling coconuts on the side of the road. So I went to go splash around in the river while Jaywal went to go talk to the coconut guy. Um, while I was up in the river, I was thinking, oh God, this is so beautiful because it was forming these little pools around the rocks. And then I looked over and I saw this enormous fuzzy brown spider just chilling on the rocks. And I'm not an afraid of spiders person. I actually like them a lot, but this one was the size of my hand. So I quickly splashed my way back down to the coconuts where Jaywal had negotiated us to get some coconuts from this guy. His name is Moose Moose. That's how he introduced himself. First he showed us these crazy foot spur things he puts on so he can climb the trees, which is incredibly cool. And then he told us about golden versus green coconuts, which I didn't realize there's a difference. Apparently the golden ones are smaller but sweeter, so we chose golden and he cracked them open for us and explained the process of picking the right ones. He said that every tree he climbs, he tries a coconut from it just to make sure that the tree is good before he <laughs> sells them to people. So he basically lives on coconuts and you can see how healthy and vibrant he looks. So I feel like I need to eat more coconuts in my life. It was really amazing. We felt like we were super, super welcomed by him. Here you see some beach cactus. Our happy little visit was over and I was back at the airport dropping Jay Wall off and waving goodbye as he flew back to the States. We got a ton accomplished in the time that he visited me. Small tasks that all would have been harder to motivate myself for without another person so for that I was super grateful and it was nice to have company for a little bit and be able to explore islands in a different sort of way. Thank you guys for watching this week's video. I know there wasn't a lot of sailing in it but it is really fun to explore the islands and I hope you enjoyed going along for the ride. Don't worry next week there's going to be a ton of sailing. I try to leave for Barbados and maybe decide it's better if I don't go that day or at all because the weather was pretty <laughs> um, big to be beating into it and other things came up with the Barbados part so stay tuned for that. Um, the song that I sang for the volcano sequence is Such Great Heights by the Postal Service. Uh, I sang the Iron and Wine version of it. I love covering songs and singing them as background music for my videos so if you guys have any suggestions of music that is easy to play on guitar because I'm not very good, but fun to sing and happy and lends itself to good harmonies. I'm always looking for new songs to learn and to sing and add to my videos. If you like what I'm doing, it helps me if you subscribe and like this video, show it to your friends maybe. Um, I also have a Patreon, it's patreon.com slash windhippie. I'll put the link of it in the info of this video. I have an Instagram account if you want to follow me. It's Boat Lizard, or with a little at sign in front of it. Windhippy.com is my website if you want to see my weekly journal entries and photos. Um, and that is all. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next week. Oh, P.S. I upload new videos every Monday. P.P.S. Important thing. Last week when I was uploading somehow the section of the video where I showed you the finished product of Anchor Chain Locker plus everything that I added got cut out along with a nice transition to exploring the island. So I'm tacking that on right after this. Um, you can see what the finished product looked like. The bells in the background are the church. It's Sunday and the church is right on the beach. It's really cool. So I'll see you guys next Monday. Okay, so last week, the part where I showed you my completed anchor chain locker got cut off, so I want to show you guys now what I've done. Um, yes, so the light works. Awesome, awesome. This is a little USB port. I've put this tape over the LED because it's super bright at night. Here is the bilge pump. 
la la la, auto and manual. I just have it off most of the time. I don't think I need it on auto ever, but um, that's just, you can hold that guy over if you are like, ooh, I just wanna hold it over two seconds. And here's the fan, which also works. So, good news, everything up here looks really great. This is the only way to get in to the locker now is through this little watertight door. And it's all sealed off and 4200 and that is ugly and I need to paint over it. Don't look, don't look. Um, but yeah, it's good.